Hello and welcome. My name is Joel Bennett and this is called One Step. Really happy to have you join me in my script, um, sharing on my platform and just contributing in whatever way that you can. It means a lot and I am truly grateful and truly appreciative. Let's get into it because this one um, might take some time also. It is not just said, but it has been scientifically proven that if you are an individual who works out, who exercise, and is consistent with this practice, from a young age you are in the gym, and you will literally reform your physical structure. And I mean, if I should use someone as an example, I would say maybe Arnold Schwarzenegger. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Arnold, Terminator guy. If you maintain consistency where exercise is concerned, reshaping your body is concerned, building muscle mass, and I'm, ta and I'm not talking about the steroid stuff or the, you know, lab works just to get yourself, your physique looking a certain way. I'm talking about discipline, dedication, in the gym, eating right, living right, exercising to build that body. A yeah, dream body that most persons would say that you want for yourself. You can literally restructure the shape of your body just by exercising and being disciplined at it also. So much so that with this dedication, this mental coordination, with the rest of your body. So much so that when it comes time for you to have children, you can pass on this DNA. A fact. The same thing with, let's say, intelligence. If you are a professor, a doctor, a scientist, and any other elite mental development that you've partaked in where your literacy and intelligence is concerned. You can pass on this DNA, this ability that you have garnered over the years to your children. It's a fact. If you look at certain members of societies, individuals who are doctors, you would see a family of doctors. And yes, one step, I know these behaviors could have been encouraged. But some of these attributes, it was not just encouraged. You will hear individuals say, I've just had a love for science. It's not just because my dad did. I just feel like that's what I was meant to be. These hereditary mental skills can be passed on to your children. And yes, we can go back to the home and said, kids live what they learn. Yeah, that is a contributing factor too. Not negating that. I'll prove it to you. So, if you trace back hundreds of years ago before slavery, the black race that spreads out across Africa, 
were some of the most intelligent beings there was. This is written in history. The black man was scientists, philosophers, engineers. Super intelligence. If you want to dig down into astrology and so forth. We could read the stars. And not just read the stars, but discover weather by means of just what was being shown in the sky. These are all facts. So the intelligence at that time was high. Even up to this very day, I don't believe anyone have come up with a true story as to how the pyramids were built. This is in Africa. It must have been built by a race. It must have been built by a species, and that species was human. That species stems back to the first man. Africa is where the origin of man started. I have a, I have a, there's a reason for this. There's a reason for this. Hang in there. And so, after the Europeans came, this was a fact of an amazement for them. The African race, the different tribes. So much so, that this was a huge fear factor. Huge fear factor. And so they knew, kind of have an idea what the future would have been like if they had left this alone. They knew. And so whether the idea of enslavement was their plan or not, it's not a valley right now. The fact is that it became a thing. They came up with a means of controlling these people, which is slavery. Because it's, it is not like back then we were at war with each other. I'm not sure if it was written in relation to that. A nation of people that were growing, building, innovating, unraveling things, showing the European things that they have never seen before. Showing them forms of technology they have never seen before. Showing them forms of intelligence where the mind was concerned that they have never seen before. And so the idea to control became a thing. Take these people because we have weapons that they have never seen before. They don't seem to be a uh, war structured, a war minded destroyers of nations like we are. And you may think this message is against white people. It is not. You stay and stay with me and you will see. It's not necessary about white people. I'm, I have a plan here. And so slavery became a thing. Families were ruined, captured in bondage and sold off to 
other white owners, plantation owners, taken into ships, shipped across the other spheres of the world onto people's fields for work. Years passed and years went on. And the intelligence that there was, the creativity that there was of the black nation watered down. Watered down. The only thing that black people dreamed of during slavery was freedom. The only thing that occupied the black man's mind, one of that is, is to be free, to be able to run. I just want to get out of this life of slavery and bondage and run. I just want to get away. I just want to run. If I could only get a chance to just run away. I just want to run. I don't want to care about anyone. I just want to run because I've been in this. This is all I know. And if I could only run, my life will be better. When it's not the idea of running, it's just working and dreaming about running. When it's not dreaming about running, and brace yourself for this, is the distraction when you're being used to use your John and cock to populate their plantation. So oftentimes, black men are jeered and teased and beetled because the only use they have is with their John and cock. And black men are being belittled because of the stigma that attached to them not being able to hold down a family. Where am I going with this? Where is one step going? After hundreds of years, when all you can think about is running, is getting away, is freeing yourself, is shaking off this responsibility of building and creating for someone else. This becomes a muscle memory. So at first, I shared with you that where muscle is concerned, if your consistency, if you work out, if you exercise, if you are of a certain physique, you can pass this on to your kids. The same thing is true. Even if you stop working out after doing this for years, the memory that your fibers and your, your muscles have formed is still there. So it's easier for someone who is of a certain physique or had a certain physique, it's easy for them to go in the gym and get back that physique than someone who is just doing it for the first time. So, one of the challenge that black men, and I'm speaking to my black brothers, have, even up until this very day, I'm hearing DNT is wild as vibe, even up until this very day, to this day, to this day, you have to be a backseat fan to, to understand that. <laughs> Even up until this very day, 
a lot of my brothers don't understand why they can't hold on a home, why they can't hold on a family, why they can't hold on their wives, their girlfriends, their queens, their future mothers, their mothers are baby mothers. That DNA still lingers in our gene. The desire, the desire to run away, the desire to not want to res be responsible for your family, the, the desire to not want to be loyal to one partner. Because that muscle memory that our foreparents was forced to develop on the plantation is still being perpetuated right now into our lineage. But if nobody tell you about these things, how are you going to know? How are you going to know? You need to understand that your ancestors were kings, were queens, were mathemat mathematicians, were engineers, were scientists, had some of the most brilliant minds there was before slavery. The church don't need to tell you that you're royalty. And I'm not just using the church as an example. Please, please, I'm not attacking the church. I need to always say that. Yes, on a spiritual side, you are royalty. But separating apart from that, biologically, genetically, you are royalty. Our ancestors were kings. So nobody needs to feel any form of inferiority where that is concerned. We were leaders. We were innovators. We were rulers of our household. The slave conditioning that still lingers in our brain memory is a recessive gene that has no value that we need to make have power over us still. The dominant gene, which is what we have inherited from our foreparents, should be what becomes our focus. Engineers, innovators, scientists, teachers, leaders, That's the lineage that we're coming from. So the recessive lingering parasite that still lies within our DNA, the I want to run, I want to escape, I don't want to be responsible, should be banished. practical here you need to know why you are having challenges at times and bring yourself back to yourself the lingering parasite that has been mentally conditioned in our four parents, which we have inherited, we need to erase and pick up back our crowns. My name is Joel Bennett. This is just an introductory towards the man that run. There is more to come. Thank you for viewing. Hit the likes. Keep subscribing, 
keep sharing, keep helping me to build this platform. The aim is for us to reach out to each other, improve ourselves. The aim is for us to discover who we are or who we should be and forgive ourselves of what we have been deficient of, how we have failed or whatever the past is. My name is One Step and this is how we are going to build. Thanks for dropping by. You do take care. Bye.